It's me, Julissa. Welcome back. Today, it's not just me, it's also one of my really good friends. She is a boss babe. She is a TV host. She's also the owner of Beauty Magnet. She is a wife, a mother. I don't know how she does it. One thing about Liz Kennedy, I call her the connector. If you say anything that you want to do and she happens to know someone that can connect you a little bit closer to that goal or that mission she wastes no time she's like oh wait what do you want to do? yeah oh i know that person okay and the next thing you know you're on a group chat and you're like oh wow this this happened we're both from new york and we live in la and from the minute we met we clicked we have mutual friends everyone around us we're like i can't believe you guys don't know each other we really bonded over the fact that um we both really missed new york and she was having a hard time when she first moved out here. She's trying to be nice. I called her every day hysterically crying, being like, I hate LA, I hate the people here, I have no friends, like, I miss the people back home being super real. So she was literally like my one of my first friends here. I spent my entire quarantine with Julie. When we're together, we don't talk about anything other than how to like build our dreams and hype each other up mm -hmm. and encourage each other. And COVID like changed the game for us. Absolutely. We got really close during quarantine because we were both getting ready to launch this these brands of ours. And the idea of that and the world shutting down, we basically were freaking out. Um, we and both by freaking out, she means like I was crying and she was like, I don't know, this might be forever. And we were just, we were a mess. And we were like, okay, how do we, as per usual us, how do we pivot and we would just encourage the living shit out of each other to make our dreams come true. Absolutely. She was doing makeovers on the same show that I was coming on to do this um, panel of opinions and you guys know I'm opinionated. <laughs> Liz and I really connected because she was getting ready and was working on her brand, Beauty Magnet. Um, Show, oh, show the and people beauty magnet. Obviously, I have one because <laughs> Julie and I talk about our products all the time. Where it was like, how can we make it better? Do you like this? Do you not like this? This is what I was working on during COVID while she was working on Republica. So we would use each other as sounding boards. It is a Swiss Army knife for beauty tools, but magnetized. So you have the eye roller, tweezer, rose quartz roller, the Black I say blackhead remover, but it's the comedone extractor. extractor. The professional version. And then the micro needle. Oh, derma roller. Derma roller. Micro needle roller, yeah, okay. same thing. Derma roller. When we were both working on our brands, we really leaned into each other's expertise. Her and our other friend, Lisa, the way they saved me from making a crazy decision, like <laughs> up to the second, I had approved pretty much everything when it came to packaging. And I showed them this color of the box that I originally thought that I wanted to go with. And they were like, Julie, no, you cannot put that out there. No chance. And I was like, wow, you're right. The thing is when you're developing something and you've been working on it for so long, you're so excited to get something done that you just want it done sometimes. And you need that friend. That's why it's really important when you're developing something to have honest people around you mm -hmm. to be like, eh, that's not really great. At the end of the day, your friends are potentially your, your customers. customers. When you're creating something that like physically doesn't exist, it's a, it's a mold that doesn't exist. This is like a, a lot thing. of money. It takes a lot of money. You were able to raise over $250,000. a little under a million. Wow. So during so. quarantine, she was a wife, a mother, raised $900,000, launched the company. I mean, this it is sounds why. so much cooler when someone else hypes it up because during it you like cry yourself to sleep and you think like <laughs> you suck and you're never gonna make anything happen. So um, I can only imagine <laughs> the like... pressure of some other people giving you nine hundred thousand dollars and saying, "Here, go. Let's see what you come back with because yeah. I better get my money back." Yeah. The truth is, is like when you're an entrepreneur and you know the space and you know beauty, you start to look at things like okay, what's missing from the market? And then you just start to plug in ideas, you know? How many times have you asked your man or your girlfriend, where's my tweezers? Where's my roller? And that person looks at you like, girl, you've asked me 15 times where your tweezers are, keep it in one spot. If I'm having this issue and other women are constantly looking for their stuff 24 seven, maybe there's something that I can do to create something that's like, you know, in uniform, looks really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, and you can find it all in one spot. So that's kind of how it came to life. If you're sick of losing your stuff, <laughs> you can buy Beauty Magnet at Ulta.com. And I partnered with a company called Nude Sticks to bring it to life. 
So you can shop it there. It's $85 and you will never lose your stuff ever so, again. Or you can just hit the link below and you can get your own beauty magnet. People that follow Julie and the people that follow me, they love beauty and they wanna be educated in it. And that kind of is like why you started what you did. People in your community were saying, are you gonna start a skincare line because we'd like to see something different? Right. I kept telling you like, do you think that they're gonna take me seriously in this space because I'm not a licensed esthetician. But she's you know, a I didn't go beauty to school. expert in her own right. Guys, we've been doing this for a it's long time. It's a lot of trial and time. error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without aging ourselves, we, but we are vets in this <laughs> space. <laughs> So during quarantine is when things like, I feel like that's when we really things got took off. Yeah, hitting each other up every day because we were going crazy. I mean, I live alone, so I would hit her up and be like, hey, do you wanna go on a hike? And I just had a baby, so my hormones were crazy. I had no job. I was basically losing my damn life. Ready to just jump off the first bridge she could find. She's like, no, she's not I joking. hate it here. I don't understand. I'm a licensed esthetician. I know what I'm talking about. What are these trolls on the internet telling me otherwise? And I said, take a breather. Let's get you right. We need to take advantage of this time that we do have to really focus on what we want to do. Yep. For her it was Beauty Magnet. You guys already know, for me it was Republica. When you get older, you start realizing like how dope the people around you are and the company you keep is really important. Who and inspires you, yes. makes you want to be a good person. Fast forward to the Republica launch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. And see you there. Oh my God, it was everyone so much that fun. That has given me their oh. time, their opinions, their efforts. I mean, it's wild to think that. Julie's face, was she just <laughs> smiling from ear to ear? One, two, three. <laughs> and the whole event was like, it was so on brand with Republica. These rich greens, and everyone wore green or white, which was really cool. Even the location looked yeah, like for sure. it was a piece of like DR tucked in LA. Again, it goes back to the company you keep. Liz Maris, who is also one of my best friends, is also an expert in experiential marketing. She has, so, an, she has an eye for aesthetic. You know how her and I get to be pinky in the brain. Like, oh, that like was what? so much fun. When Liz Maris and I walked in and I saw everybody there and like yeah. the visions that we had for the thing. You know really quickly who really loves you when they like stand by your side, they're smiling like alongside with you. It's like, you pick up really quickly. And who shows like, up for yeah, you, man? Yeah. Like, At the count of three, Republican. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, woo. It just happened so in a blur. So like you quick. plan for this day, so you have the vision for it, you do all the things. And then you're just saying hi to everyone the whole time because they're like hyped to see you and you're like, hi, hi, hi. It's literally what a wedding's like. The food, the drinks, the this, the that. And then it just and then it just happened. <laughs> I wish that you could have experienced it, especially if you're a beauty lover, which you're watching this because you love beauty and you love Julie. Oh man, it was so amazing. Like the ceviche and the drinks, like even a few of them smoked. Remember those drinks that smoked? Mm. Did you get the moon? Girl, I think I, this is, no lie, you were the only person that brought me a drink. You were like, Julie, you don't have a drink in your hand. Because that's, it's that, like a that's, wedding. That's so you're rare. You're saying hi to everyone and you're just bopping around and then you're like, oh wow, I haven't even eaten the food or had a drink. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Is everybody having fun? And wow, it I was spent like, all this money for everyone else to have a great time. Basically, I mean, I ended up having a blast, but it's so stressful mm -hmm. to finally get the vision to a reality. Yeah. We've lived in LA for a bit and it really did feel like a little bit of like jungly esque vibes. Jungly. Like, how do you explain? Like, with that big tree, you, you that felt one big tree. Yeah. yeah. And that was the goal. You guys should have seen the first location. I thought I thought the first location was it. Oh, yeah, I remember you with that one. And that one was good too. It was good, but I think 
this one we we nailed it. It felt yeah. way more intimate. Yeah, very. The first intimate. location was massive, and I was like, "Wow, this is it. We yeah. feel like we're in Bali." Yeah. And then this Maris was like, "Yeah, but we want to go to Dominican Republic." Yeah. I said, "You're right. <laughs> we have to look at another place." I didn't even realize like how much of an impact it made to have that big screen where it kind of showed like mm -hmm. the commercial of like how it came to life. I, don't know, I thought that was really cool. Everybody, please let me get your attention to the screen right here for the official República. Sugar Body Polish campaign. Shot in Dominican Republic. That was a I ate must. six empanadas that night. Okay. <laughs> like Six. Uh, <laughs> they were so good. I did have Dominican food because yeah. first of all, in LA, oh, so it, I had to put it on my social media. I put it on my Instagram like, who in LA can pull off Dominican food? Who's that girl, XIXI? -X oh, like, Gigi Zhang. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was killing me. We were at the bar and she was like, finally real food and not just lettuce in LA. And I <laughs> was dying, because we were the ones like, we were on plate number three. Yeah. I so was funny. so adamant about certain things. Like the same way I made sure I wanted to shoot that campaign in Dominican mm -hmm. Republic. I said, uh-uh, I cannot. To you. Yeah, I had to. Just seeing everyone, like all so the influencers great. that I thought weren't gonna show up, actually show up. I could go around this entire space and thank you all individually, but it would take me forever. Oh gosh, the speech. You guys know I can talk all day, no, but the Julie, speech had me Julie so never nervous. cries. She, I've never seen this girl cry. It's like my husband. Oh, on here I cry. Sorry, I didn't think I would cry, you but cried on anytime head? I talk about Republica, I'm freaking waterworks. Okay, it's so annoying. Well, that's special because that night when she cried, I got all weird and I had my period. So <laughs> I got really weird about it because I was like, wow, like you are super emotional. Oh my God, I'm gonna get a sit now. <laughs> and if you've been my friend for a while, you know I never cry. <laughs> but this is always the one thing whenever I talk about Republica that makes me emotional. You know, to see your friends like really happy and excited about something, especially like, you know, we come from like families where we, you know, had to do everything by ourselves. And, yeah, I know. I didn't want to cry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot because obviously it resonated with you and I, you know, we know our struggles to get our yeah. brands up out there and finally launched, but to see everybody come together and really support. And that's where really I wanted to speak from when I said that speech. You know, I had something, I think, completely different actually on my phone. I just had a bunch of notes. Oh my God. No, you just have to, I know. Oh. I so <laughs> that's the goal, man, is to ultimately inspire. And if you can have your friends along the way, yeah. you understand like how important <laughs> it was when I was you know, harassing you for your opinion, you know, because you are the expert. I was yeah. like, dang, I know like, you get paid for this, but as your friend, I didn't want you to feel overwhelmed with me calling you up every second, but- A real friend will never feel overwhelmed. You should be able to use and abuse your friends like crazy, and they still be like, I'm here, I got you. <laughs> and that's what I felt the night of the launch. I couldn't have done it, and I literally can't do it, and I could not be standing here if it wasn't for each and every one of you. And Their everyone experience. in that room was actually genuinely, so you know when you can always kind of feel like if someone's not, everyone in that room had a grin from here to here and was happy to be there for real. I know, Drea came up to me for and real. she's like, so how does it feel to be a CEO? I was like, ah! <laughs> like I? I don't know. Am I a CEO? Am I? Ooh, I don't know, girl. Circle back in like six months. Literally. <laughs> Do I still have hair after the stress? Like... Right, seriously. <laughs> my friends are great. I mean, you, Adrian, Lana, I mean, I reach out to my friends and they're, they're always down, down to, to give to me their, you. down to help, down to give me their opinions, but, I, I have such a thing with asking favors. Because you've done so much by yourself. That's exactly, when you do so much by yourself or on your own, asking for help, it can be a you difficult thing. You feel like a thing. nuisance, yes. even though you're not. You work hard, I work hard, mm -hmm. we're here to support each other. We definitely, I think we have like a great community like that. Like even if all of us don't see each other all the time. If one person shows up, it's a lot. If one person makes you feel seen, it's a lot. So all of you have not only done that for me, and with me many, many, many times over. So thank you so much for showing up, for making me feel seen, and for all your love and support. Love thank you guys. 
all the women that were there, they're always down to support you in your cause and your efforts and, and vice versa. So that's what I mean by like use and abuse. You should be able to do that and like yeah. confidently. And I always felt, you know, like, oh, I don't wanna always mix my friends because I don't know who's gonna get along and I don't, but I think you get to a certain age where to your point, you may not like all of my friends, I may not like all of your friends, but yep. one thing about each other, we're gonna respect each other because at the end of the day, I can respect the fact that she's a boss yeah. about her business. For sure. That's what's up. Yeah. Basically. And even if it's not about business, if you're not launching a brand, but you have a big job interview or a, or a date, I've had friends that are like, girl, we will go on the date with you. We'll just sit at the other yep. table. I said, that's crazy, but will you really? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, or, or that one friend that's like, you know what to do. Text me, I'll call you, go to the bathroom. I'll wait five minutes till you get back. I'm I'll so call sick, you. I got diarrhea, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> No one's ever <laughs> going to um, challenge diarrhea. That's for no sure. No one. No one. That's they how you get out of you. everything. No one questions a single but thing. But you're lucky you have a baby. Yeah. I'm not saying you should just use your baby for excuses, but I'm saying if you have a baby, when you have a child, you could, oh, get the away babysitter. With anything. Like, yeah. 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 You could get away with that. Or your baby has diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> These are real excuses. The launch was awesome. We need to pull up. We need to pull up on this frame right now, Julie's shoes. Those shoes were crazy. Yo, those, those shoes. Those shoes were insane. Oh. I hope they got a shot of that. Cause the heel's not even that high. Oh. But the way I wanted to chop my feet off and find the bird these feathers came from, <laughs> oh my goodness, they hurt. I mean, they're uh, fabulous. That's the reason why uh, I bought them, and they were perfect with the theme. I don't and know look, if anyone can really understand like the beauty of the Bottega heels. Shoes. Not even that high though. No. I don't but know it's this why. Thin strap. It like digs into your foot. You need like a like, my third toe on my left foot. I promise you, I has no dead. sensation. I can't. I don't know what's gonna happen. To but me. a moment for the shoes. Just These a were moment. the official because they might not. They might not be out ever again. Launch shoes <laughs> and trust me you will find these for a fraction of the price very soon on sale on an app yeah goes to show like there's pain in all forms of the business even down to the shoes you it's wear. all part of the game because it ain't easy walking in an entrepreneur's shoes let me <laughs> tell you okay <laughs> it's so true when you finally work on something for so long you launch it it's kind of like i would imagine again because you're married and yeah. you have a child yeah is when this happens so what are you launching next? What's next on the agenda? You're like, dang, I just spent 10 years working on this. Can can I live in this moment for a second? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I know what's next for you. Are you even allowed to talk about it? For Republica? Yeah. yeah. Um, basically, it's going to be a three-step system. You know how you do steps. Everybody does steps for the cleansing, then the toning, then the moisturizing. You're going to polish first. And then you're gonna do two other things after. For anyone who hasn't tried it, a lot of body polishes do a beautiful job at exfoliating, mm -hmm. but they don't hydrate simultaneously. That's why when you take that photo, people are probably like, why is she so like wet still? It's not because she's just like, oh, I just got a shower. The hydration after the polish, it's like a two in one. You're exfoliating, but you're getting that really beautiful film of hydration. She be known. It kills two birds with one stone. It's get not only taking off the layers, but also adding all the things that you've taken off to then nourish as well. It's and got if you're meat. like me and light and super fair and get spray tans, cause that's how I stay healthy looking, not transparent. It's great to do before you get a spray tan the night before, you know, to really sink in. And then mm -hmm. the next day I'll get that spray tan and I am prepped. Wow, I, I didn't even know I can talk about my product the way she just did. <laughs> like, dang girl, thank you. <laughs> So if anything, hopefully from this episode, you guys took away the fact that you can rethink who you have around you, um, call your friends up, and shoot, if you're even going on a date and you need them to say, look, call me and uh, say that I have diarrhea or whatever. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> your friends should be there to do that for you. Now as everyone well. knows our secret. We we know. We watched. We watched. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you guys working on? Let us know so that we can support as well. Comment below. Let me know so Liz and I can support it for so sure. we can check it out. And if you guys want to hear more of these kinds of real conversations about yeah. how to go from an idea to putting it out there, I mean, whatever it is that you guys your takeaway, drop some comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for. I coming. love you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. Keep each other inspired. Yes.